Anchor Protocol just updated their borrowing site. Now you can borrow as much as 50% more as a borrower than you could yesterday. Now we're going to dive into that here and I'm also going to help explain some of the new terminologies that Anchor has kind of swapped on the borrow side. But for starters, welcome to CryptoSaver. So this change first began with the following proposal that went into governance about a week ago or so. And in this proposal, they discussed that, hey, let's raise the LTV to 80%, loan to value. And as a reminder, the LTV before today, it was at 60%. So they're saying, hey, let's raise that, that liquidation price from 60% from 60 to 80%. Well, not price, but the ratio, right? So what it takes for you to get liquidated. But in doing so, they didn't just raise the level of how quickly you'd get liquidated. They also allowed you to borrow that much more. And just to throw a few numbers. So imagine if before you were using the recommended borrowing option, which was 45% of the LTV. Imagine that now you, you would be able to borrow 60% of the LTV if you're using the recommended amount. Before you can basically go all the way up to 50% as a maximum borrowing amount of the LTV. Well, imagine now you could go up to 75% of your full collateral, right? So they made these huge switches, which actually allows you to borrow as much as 50% and above. Now, what I'm gonna do for you, I'm gonna play a quick video that I took this morning. When Luna was at around $58, it's around the same price right now. Luna has traded sideways most of the day. And when I play this video, just pay attention to how the borrowing side used to look, as you should also be familiar with it. So notice we obviously have the 45% LTV there. We have the 60% LTV for max being the price that we would get liquidated on. And we can only borrow up to 50% of our collateral's value. But if we now head over to the actual new borrow page and how it looks, and how it functions, the biggest thing that should stick out for you is that we no longer see the words LTV here. We now see borrow usage, which can go all the way up to 100%. If we head over to the borrow tab, and as we move the numbers around, um, pay attention to the fact that if we go all the way, as much as we, we, we possibly can, we get to 95%. Notice that we can borrow 44 about $44, right? But in the video that I showed you from this morning, when Luna was still at the same price, we were only able to borrow around $29. Instead of just being able to borrow about $29, we can now borrow $44 and a half with the same collateral. And that's the major change that occurred today. So here's the chart that I put together, which should better explain this for you. The top portion that we're looking at first, we're basically looking at what would happen if um, the amount that we can borrow was not increased at all, right? So that proposal did not go through. All that Anchor did was say, hey, we're going from an LTV model to a borrow rate model. That's the only thing that they did. So notice in the LTV model, these numbers should be familiar to you, right? Recommended borrowing at 45%, maximum borrowing 50%, liquidation mark 60%, right? All that should be familiar. We go to the borrow rate model. It would be 75%. 95% and 100%, okay? But now if you look below, we can actually see the changes, right? With, with the new LTV changes and the fact that we could borrow more. So the recommended borrowing would now be at 60%. Maximum borrowing would be at 75%. Liquidation market, 80%. And again, this would be if the LTV model was still in place. This is no longer in place. So these numbers you will not see because now it's on the borrow rate model scale. But the reason why I include it in this table is that so you could orient yourself better, especially if you've been using the anchor borrow site for a while. If you look on the right here, how does this translate over? Notice nothing really changes from above, right? If we look at before or post, the borrow rate model actually kind of stays the same. Nothing on that end changes. So the reason why I'm showing you this graph is again to understand the changes that actually occurred within the LTV model. So now if you were borrowing 75% of your borrow rate, it would be the equivalent of borrowing 60% on the LTV model, which is a big increase from that 45% that you would have seen before today. Maximum borrowing got a boost, right? Went from 50% to 75%. It's a 50% boost in maximum borrowing. And then you have the liquidation mark, right? So instead of getting liquidated at 60% of your collateral's value, you'd get liquidated at 80% of your collateral's value. Now, what I want you to pay attention to here, which is where my warning is going to come in, even though we have that 50% increase in maximum borrowing that is available to you, 
you're much, much higher at risk of getting liquidated if you end up using all of that borrowing power. It would simply take a 6.66% move in your collateral as opposed to a 20% move in the prior model for you to get liquidated. And what I'm talking about is the, the action between maximum borrowing and the liquidation mark, right? Look at the difference here. Maximum borrowing, 50% of your LTV. Liquidation mark, 60%. Here, it's 75% and 80%. Considerably tighter. And that difference is right here. It's a 6.66% difference versus a 20% difference. So this is where I'm afraid that some people might get ahead of themselves and they might look to kind of take on all that borrowing without realizing that they actually are carrying much more risk than before. Before, you might have thought, well, you know, if I'm just using maximum borrowing, I, I, I did have that 20% cushion buffer. Uh, I'm guessing I still have that now. You do not have that anymore. You do not have that cushion. So looking at this chart here, if you want to stick to the borrowing, the recommended borrowing, it says 75%, you're going to be doing the same exact thing. You come here, you, do, you go up to about 75%, and you stay there. In general, I would not push it past 80. Um, you just simply really risk the chance of getting liquidated. So 75% to 80%, I think that is where you should hang out. Because either way, you're still benefiting from the fact that um, liquidation mark has been passed all the way out, right? So they did two things here. They they didn't just allow you to get liquidated at a further price point, because even if we look at this right now, it's 75% of my borrow rate, right? I can borrow about $35, right, and a half. That is still much greater than the $29 that I could have borrowed. Right? It's an additional $6 that I can borrow simply with the changes, right? If, in this case, I'm actually not changing my risk at all. And when I say I'm not changing my risk at all, that difference that we previously had between recommended and liquidation price, and now what we would what we would have now with seventy five percent would be exactly the same. So we have the same level of risk of how much movement it will take to get liquidated, but you're actually able to borrow more money. So again, stick to seventy five percent. Don't even think about going over eighty, in my opinion. Now I'm happy to see Anchor kind of implement this pretty darn quickly because if you've seen this video over here, I kind of spoke about the fact that Anchor's reserves have been drying up very very quickly, and that in the next week or two, we might actually see the yield reserve being depleted. Unless the CFL team decides to actually replenish the yield reserve, we might actually see Anchor have a variable yield moving forward. And on this chart, we could actually see what the variable yield would be. And right now it would be 9.3%, right? So the rate would drop from 19.5% to 9.3%. And obviously that is based on the fact that things would stay the way they are right now. If we do see an influx of people borrowing more, which they can do now, right? Like if, you're, if you've been borrowing, you could borrow more right now. If we see that and people start borrowing more, that obviously would aid in giving uh, Anchor that much more interest to collect. So instead of us having an issue with the yield reserve possibly depleting in the next week or two, that might actually get pushed out further out, giving Anchor enough time to possibly get more bonded assets onto their platform to again, try to incentivize more borrowing. And as a little tip for some of you, if you do not know about Kujira, I'm going to put a link to my video on them in the description below. Um, they're a way to essentially take part in liquidations uh, within uh, Terra. So if people do have to get liquidated, you can actually be the one liquidating them. And when you do so, you're able to get B Luna for a discount. I expect that there are going to be people that end up using all their borrowing power, 95%. And as we've seen, it's very easy to get liquidated on that. So if we do see people, a huge influx of people coming in and, and using up all that borrowing power, and if we see some sort of volatility with Luna, I wouldn't be surprised to kind of see cascading vol cascading liquidations occurring. Um, it, it would definitely be on the table because, you know, Anchor definitely made it a bit more confusing by making two changes at the same time, right? They went from uh, not just increasing all the metrics, they also went from an LTV model to a bar rate model. So there's two things you kind of have to try to grasp properly. And again, that table that I showed you guys, it's also going to be linked in my description below if you want to take a look at it yourself. But that's kind of the quick update here. So this is pretty cool. I like the fact that um, as, as long as you're responsible, you're able to borrow more with having about the same risk level. And if you are not willing to borrow more, then you actually have plenty of room before you get liquidated. So you should be sleeping a bit better at night. So if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. You could also subscribe for more terror related content. Other than that, have a great day and next time.